Uh, hey. Anyway, it's um, it's interesting being here at Shopping Insight Interaction kind of conference because um, the recent rise in sort of popularity of Shopper Insight and Shopper Marketing is um, something that's a bit amusing to us, really, um, because I've worked I've worked for Tesco, which what now the third largest retailer in the world was when I joined it. Fairly going nowhere supermarket in the UK, but. Um, for us, for our kind of business, what people think about our brand is almost wholly dictated by their experience of the shopping trip. And so the shopping trip itself is absolutely fundamental to what we do. Because it, it just simply is our brand. So what I thought I'd do um, today is just tell you a bit of a story. Really. I'll tell you the story of Fresh and Easy a bit, and now we're getting on. And uh, the point of that is because it's really a simple example of taking insight and turning it into action. Now, um, because the shopping trip is so important, just before we get to the story, it's worth just, for those of you, Tesco, big retailer, 13, 14 countries around the world, we're in them, Asia, Central Europe, as well as the UK, and now here. But um, because the shopping trip is so fundamental to what we do, we have a. Um, we have the first slide. The clicker seems to have disappeared. Uh, we have a very simple approach to business, and we um, just simply. That, by the way, is a fresh and easy store. If, not, if any of you haven't seen one. Um, so shopping, very important to what we do, the shopping trip. And so the Tesco business sort of sums up its approach to business in a very simple statement, which we call our core purpose. And that core purpose is simply to create value for customers to earn their lifetime loyalty. And embedded in that are two very, very simple ideas. The first one being that actually we have absolutely no right to exist unless we create value for customers. Simple as that. Just because we've been around for 10 years, 20 years, whatever, gives us absolutely no right to exist. We only can exist if we create value for customers today and create enough value so they want to show us. So that's the first idea. The second idea that's embedded in that is this point about earning their lifetime loyalty. Because what we're interested in is not turning a quick buck, not trying to get someone in our store to just spend that little bit extra this time to make our period numbers look good. What we're interested in is that creating enough value for that person that they want to shop with us again tomorrow, next week, next year, that their children want to shop with us, that their friends want to shop with us, and so on and so on. So that, and so all of that really defines how we as a business approach, do our business. You could say it defines our approach to marketing, it actually defines our approach to business. Now it's a great thing to say, isn't it? Oh, that's all right then. Oh, you have to do create a bit of value. Oh, that's time to loyalty, sounds fantastic. But how do you do it? Well, again, we do it by following two simple things, wherever we go in the world, two very simple things. Firstly, we believe we'll achieve it as long as we try harder for customers than anyone else. Because if you think of it, if you're trying to create value for customers, as long as you try harder than anyone else to do that, then you win. So, very simply, wherever we go, that's what we try and do. And, of course, the start point of all that is to understand what they want in the first place. And it's for that reason, wherever you go, you'll find we have a disproportionate spend on insights and such like all around the world. And then the second point is a very um, simple truism in our kind of business, but you know, people shop with us frequently, we have masses of interactions. And the truth of the matter is, wherever we've got, we found that actually, in order to get customers wanting to shop with you again and again and again, then you've got to offer them a friendly service. 
And the only way you can actually offer people a friendly service is if your people enjoy working for you. So the second half of our approach to business, wherever we go, treat people how you like to be treated. Very simple. But we believe if we do those two things, then we end up 